What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and today we have a little bit of a different video than normal. We are going to actually be building a bait pen here in the garage, me, Senior Salty here. These bait pens usually go for around like $200 plus and uh, it seems like a really insane price for something that looks so easy to build. So um, shout out to the YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the video in the description. It's called See Ya Dude. I got the idea to build it and a lot of the measurements and everything from his video and that's pretty much where we're gonna be basing this on. So if you guys wanna see the original video, I'll have that linked in the description as well. And all these materials used in the video cost a total of about $50, which is maybe a little bit more than that. I'll throw it up on the screen, I'll figure out exactly how much it was, but it was a lot cheaper than buying a new one. But without further ado, let's get started building this bait pen. All right, so first up we have our 10 foot half inch PVC here. We're going to be cutting 12 10 inch pieces here that's gonna be going around the base. We got our 12, oops, a little dusty here. We got our 12 uh, 10 inch pieces here. Now, we gotta cut some eight inch pieces. Take a look, we need two eight inch pieces, and we're just gonna keep cutting, and we're gonna cut all the PVC first. So we need the 12 10 that we already got right here. We need two eight inch pieces, six five inch pieces, two four inch pieces, uh, four 12 inch pieces, and one 24 inch piece. So we are going to get to cutting all that, and I'll see you guys when we are done cutting. Alrighty, I've gone ahead and just kind of put everything together to make sure everything fit, everything was cut right. And you could see the general kind of look we're going for. So this is the bottom here. This is the support in the middle. And then we're going to make this same octagon sitting basically right on top. And the, where is it? Here we are. The uh, wire mesh that we have here, or the plastic coated wire mesh, is going to go around it. But we're gonna have to take all this all apart and use the all purpose PVC cement here to uh, attach it all together. Okay, well we got a little bit more assembled now and uh, just one thing really quick you can see we need to cut we need to cut two more things so real quick I'll add it to the initial count so you guys don't have to worry about cutting any more additional to what I showed at the beginning of the video but I just had to cut two more five inch pieces right over here because there wasn't enough and then I'm going to need two more pieces right here but I'm not exactly sure how long those pieces are gonna be. I don't think it really said in the video. So uh, I'm gonna put everything together, glue it all together, and then figure out at the end what size to cut those with. I still have plenty of PVC here left. So we are gonna get to gluing this all together and I'll see you guys when I got that all together.
Alrighty, now that we are all glued together, you can see things coming along over here. So this is the top, so it's going to be with the nub facing down. This is going to be our hinge door right here. So we just got to measure exactly the width right here and here that we want close we want these together and we're going to cut out the uh, half inch pvc for over here and then we have a little nub here's the little nub so we'll put that right in the center and that's going to attach right onto here is our lid you can kind of see the whole thing is just going to kind of open and close just like slow and that's how we'll access the bait so I ended up using uh, two inch pieces for here and here. I would probably do slightly longer than two inches um, just because I would have liked this gap a little bit, probably bigger, but two inches works just fine here for us. And you can kind of see this is how it's gonna work, just like so. So we gotta glue all of this stuff together and then our top will finally be finished. All right, now she is starting to look like a bait pen. You can see here, open and close. And that is basically the shape of the bait pen and to give you a nice size reference. This is my hand inside the pen. So it's a very decent sized pen actually, a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. But now is gonna be the interesting part because the guy in the video, the big downfall to that video, in my opinion, um, the, uh, he didn't include in his price list the mesh, which was easily the most expensive part for a lot of people. And I think his was over $100 for his roll. And this roll right here, you're gonna have to make some adjustments compared to his video, but this roll only costs $15 on Amazon. And I think we will be able to cover the entire thing in it. Um, the thing is that you can see here, the mesh is shorter than the pen. So it's gonna take a little bit of uh, creative zip tying to make this work, but I have no doubt that we'll be able to get it to work. It's just whether this one roll is going to be enough or not, we shall see once we start actually putting it all together. But I already kind of mocked it up and I think it's definitely, I think we're going to have enough here. So I'm going to throw this probably back on a time lapse here. Me and my dad are going to play around zip tying this wire mesh here to the frame and uh, getting it to work. And then I will, I guess, see you guys once we get it all finished together. But this part, if you're, uh, if you're watching this video and building it yourself and you buy this, this mesh, it's just going to be playing with zip ties a whole lot of zip ties so we we have bags of zip ties over there you're gonna need a couple bags of zip ties this thing is held together by pvc and uh zip ties so get yourself a lot of zip ties get yourself some patience and uh pick up this 15 dollars roll of wire mesh off amazon all links will be in the description and uh without further ado let's get zip tying That's a slight bummer. The uh, the wrap is definitely not gonna be enough. It doesn't reach all the way around again. So right at the overlap here, we are going to cut it off, use the rest of the wire here to start working on the bottom. And if we still have some more, then we can start covering the top. But we're gonna have to spend $15 more, get another roll so that way we can finish wrapping around. But all in all, $30 for this mesh is still a lot cheaper than paying like over $100, $150 for other places. But we are going to continue working on this and uh, see how far we can get with this one roll. We are all zip tied up. Probably have to throw a couple more zip ties, probably over here and stuff like that. But you kind of get the idea. Just kind of pulled it tight and loaded it up with zip ties, zip tying this side onto the bottom. There we are. Looks pretty good so far, if you ask me. Definitely looks homemade, which is perfect for what we like to do around here. And uh, we are going to have to order another roll. So there is going to have to be another day to this video. So we will come back and once we have another roll, we will wrap it around and then we will do the top. But for now, I'm just gonna cut off these zip ties, 
flip it around show you guys what it looks like with it flipped the other way and then we are going to end it for today and then finish it up another day here we go well there it is half finished right here and we will see you for day two and finishing up the vape pen well, today is a new day, $15 later, and we got another roll of our plastic coated wire here. We got the bay pens in here with the pool noodle we picked up. It is time to put a second little layer going around the uh, bait pen over here, and then coat the top. It's time to wrap up this bay pen. So it's definitely going to look like a lot of zip ties, but when we cut them off, you're barely even going to notice them and the fish certainly won't care. So this is where we started it. So you can see we got it stitched up and down here and on the inside that way that when the fish are swimming around, they don't get caught up on it over here. You can see it's a nice smooth surface over here in between where we joined the two. And to do that, I just stitched it all the way up and down over here. And then we did one on the top of where it joined in. This is the halfway mark. So we did one on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. We did the same top left, top right method over here. So it's, this is the other side where it met. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And then after that, we just went around the side, stitching them together. But you can see they kind of flawlessly met together pretty well. It's probably kind of hard to tell on camera, but when we aligned the two together, they kind of stayed nicely and didn't have to worry about that too much. Now, if we do start to see some problems when we put some bait in there, uh, bait getting caught up or bait escaping, we'll make adjustments, add some more zip ties, shave down some stuff if we have to. But one thing I would make sure is that you put all the zip ties facing outwards. So you can see all the zip ties are all facing out. That way everything stays smoother on the inside. Now it's time to use the rest of the roll here. We're gonna do the same thing we did on the bottom, lay it across and do the top that way. And then we have to do the little bit more difficult part, which is the lid. So here's what we came up with the lid and by far is definitely not the prettiest way and we are going to probably think about a way to make this a little bit better but for now I think it'll work but we ended up just taking the lid and fold over we made a little cut over here for the nub we folded this back a little bit and we ended up just taking the extra and just rolling it so we rolled it here on both sides you can see it's rolled up and zip tied very loosely onto here that way when it closes, it's blocking this empty area over here. And then for the corners over here, we ended up just folding it over, zip tying it all together. So that way it made the little corner over here. I've got to cut off a few more zip ties there, I see. Um, probably fix this right over here real quick, but this is how it kind of looks. And then we take it, close it like that, and we're gonna put a bungee right here, bungee it on. Also to help to make sure that the fish don't get through or jump out or anything like that over here. We are just going to put the pool noodles probably on the outside right over here, over here as well. That way it blocks them from getting in or out. Like I said, certainly not the prettiest thing we've ever done and definitely not the most proud of that design, but I think it'll work for now. So we're going to put the pool noodles on, attach a rope on and get a bungee on the top and it's time to throw it on the pool. Off to the pool we go. take a quick look you can see we have the four pool noodles right here and here we have the top secured which we have to do a little bit better job with this but for now you just unclip the bungee unhook this is the problem this just dangles and can fall in the water or in the pen 
but there we go. Can open up the top. Like I said, not the prettiest, but it is covering all the edges over here. You can open it, get your bait out and everything like that, and you can secure it just like so. So temporarily we're just going to tie a rope onto literally any part of it. It's not really that important, just so it can float away in the pool. We'll see if it floats. And there is a disclaimer that we are most likely going to have to drill holes in the PVC on the bottom there to let some water in. That way all the weight's at the bottom and uh, we'll be good to go. Tie it on, ready to go. Moment of truth. Damn hey! It. Damn not it. bad! Look at that! Son of a... Way better than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. I mean, it, Hold the buoyancy is a little different in salt water. But, in the pool it's looking mighty good. Woo! Oh, you should be taking a bow for that one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I figured this thing would float like a top. That's not bad at all. Into salt water now, she goes. Perfect. So if you guys do this, there's no reason, or at least in this case, to drill holes in the PVC. But you can see, it's in there perfect just how we want it to. Awesome. Super happy with how this came out. Looks awesome. That is going to wrap things up here for the DIY bait pen. I'm super happy with how this came out. I thought, well, it was pretty difficult to do took two different days but we got it done it's not perfect but it um but it doesn't have to be because we built it it's functional as far as we know so far we don't know yet we're gonna throw some bait put some mold in here put some milk pilchards in here to put it to the test if you guys are interested in seeing how it holds up with the bait actually in it make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below that way you guys are notified of those future videos and hit the like button if you guys did enjoy this video and if you do try to make this pen, write in the comments down below what changes you made to this or what you thought of the whole design and everything like that. I'd love to hear your opinions. Thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go check out this fishing video over here on the left side of the screen. I think you'll really enjoy it. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.